Hey, Fiberistas, it's Allie. Welcome back to day three of Tour de Fleece. And I'm really excited because today I'm going to be making art bats to make more of this yarn. I have of a project going on that needs a bunch of yarn and um, I need to make more of this. But in order to do that, I need to make some more bats. So let's get started on those. So I want to introduce you to Athena. Athena is my drum carter. So I want to introduce you to Athena. Athena is my drum carter. I named her after the Greek goddess of war, wisdom, and weaving. And I'm going to start out with uh, this uh, fiber. Um, it is a blend of merino and sari silk. Um, and it is just lovely. And I have made these, uh, several of these bats um, before. So I'm tr gonna try to make them as similar as possible. Oh, um, so that's why I am starting with that fiber. And then I'm gonna add some of this and during this video, I'm going to show you some of my uh, favorite techniques for building an art bat. Um, the typical, all are, the technique I see most often in videos is where you just put the fiber in the tray and turn the crank. And that's a good way to get the bat started. Um, but I prefer the painting technique, which is um, where you take the fiber and you just kind of paint it over the drum. Um, I find that it, that doing that, um, gives you more control over where the fiber goes. Um, and someone said that my wall hanging is looking like an eye so i thought uh, um that it would be a good idea to oh um uh make the border of it the pink blue and purple and then just have it and be and, um, the white with the, with, the, um, just have it be the white with the, with the, uh, a blend of, white with a blend of sorry silk. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And so the uh, border before the white I, I is gonna be this yarn. But I need to make about 
two or three more bats of that. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I want to have a, a clean border between the colored edge and the white with sorry silk. This fiber is um, from uh, this fiber is from Chameleon Fiber Co. and the the uh, Rovang. Thing is uh, from their their, um, their sample all uh, yeah yeah and I think it's really really pretty and perfect for this project. I'm putting lots of goodies in in this bag. I mentioned this before in previous videos, but my favorite colors are pink, blue, and purple.
I love how colorful these bats have been turning out. And how colorful the yarn has been turning out. So in this piece that I'm making, I'm trying to tell a story about uh, learning to live with hydrocephalus. As, um, so th in this piece, I am trying to tell a story about uh, building resilience and learning to live with hydrocephalus. And And in this piece, the blue represents the hydrocephalus. So I'm putting in a lot of blue in this piece. And I chose blue because um, it's the color of the Hydrocephalus Association. Can't have, have an art bat without having a fire star.
Okay, I think this one is done. Normally I would use a knitting needle for this. When I made these bats before in the past, my husband has said that it, it looks like troll hair. And he's not, he's not wrong. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna make one or two more of these and then I will show you how they turn out in the end. Mm -hmm. 